Um, and she's just a cute, adorable little doll. She, she's. It's funny. I always say because you know when you're watching, a lot of people are like, "Well, I wonder if it's an act." You know, the whole no kind of. And it's like when you meet her, she, she and you just, hang out with her. She, that's how she is. She's, she's just cool. Yeah, she's just so innocent. It was like when I was talking to her, it's like you know. What big, you know, since you won the money on Big Brother, five, the fact that's a, you know, it's a nice chunk of money, especially where she lives and stuff. And she's so cute. She's like, well, I was able to quit my waitressing job. <laughs> so I'm still, and because they're coming up this weekend um, to do an interview on the 14th, um, which I just think is just going to be cool. Here in the studio. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And then we're going to all watch The Amazing Race. Oh, very cool. So that's just going to be cool. And she's so cute because at first she's like, I don't know if I can get the time off work. Because it's like, yeah, yeah. hello, of course. Go to Vegas. Um, also, <laughs> Paul from Minnesota said, Stephen, the funniest moment in the Big Brother house was the night when you were in bed telling Keisha and others <laughs> how you would pleasure women. And then someone else said, there's another question for someone. Did you did you get to, when you were in L.A., did, did you, or did you get to hook up with Kevin at all from this last Big Brother season? I've did you not guys? been able to get with Kevin. Um, I wanted to meet him. Because he was one of the people that I couldn't, I wasn't able to get up um, to Vegas just because of getting the people that were in the house up here. And I literally, I ran out of flights. It was like, that's why Lydia and Jesse, they had to drive up. Because it was like, I couldn't, it was like, I'm sorry. I got as many people up here as I could. (laughs) And I felt bad. So I always, so if you ever run into him, you have to tell him that, it's not that I don't like him. We really were big fans of Kevin. Yes. I was actually really bummed. I was a big fan of Kevin's, too. I liked him. I, uh, I was really disappointed that he didn't um, make it to the final two. You know, I tried over um, tried over and over and over to get um, to, to meet him and have something happen. Um, but he's just busy, and he couldn't he couldn't get up to L.A. And, um, Doesn't he live in L.A.? San Diego. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we just weren't able to, to, to make it happen, but um, I want to meet him, and, you know, I think he's cool, cool shit, and, you know, he talks to Lydia some, and, and we tried to make it happen. but it's Yeah, just, she was saying that, because um, I guess she has a birthday coming up, Lydia does, I think, I, I want to say, I want to say March or April, because she was talking about her and Kevin coming up to Vegas, and so I was like, okay, oh. you'll have to let me know, so I can take you out. Yeah. Oh, tell and, Stephen to check his tweets. Okay. <laughs> is everyone tweeting me? Let's see what we got here. This like world of the web is so funny. Isn't it? You know, it's like you're on with this chat saying, check your tweets. I'm well, form it's so funny because, um, okay, I have somebody that, uh, do you still talk? Okay, answer that. Rumor has it you tipped off your friend from TMZ for the here pick and at the tattoo parlor no oh, i'm sure steven wanted a picture of him with burgers in his mouth yeah no, no no i didn't didn't tip them off at all the um the oh the here pick he, the picture of so did you see the picture of michelle and lydia kissing yes okay I took that. I took that. I don't know why that was such a big drama. Yeah, I, and I took that photo actually, and I've had I've gotten some grief over it. People people thought that I like stole the picture or that I you know was like maliciously taking it. Uh, I'm going to tell you the story about that photo right now. Let's, let's clear the air. Clear the air. To and me, you, it just looked like an innocent friend. I didn't even. I, don't I, would, even know I can call Lydia and Michelle and get them on the phone, and we can all they all collaborate the same story. Um, we were at the bar at Here Bar Here Lounge in L.A. Um, having drinks, having a great time. Um, that was the night Paula Abdul showed up. Paula Abdul showed up at Here Lounge. Oh, okay. And um, Shishi LaRue was DJing and everything, whatever. And we had a VIP area and a bottle, and we were drinking a lot. And we were all laughing and joking and having conversations about, um, like, how we were, got into this deep conversation about how we think it's crazy how some of the smallest things, like, go Absolutely crazy with people, up. and mm-hmm. how fans just, you know, are always oh, get on one side or the other side, and they have so many opinions, and everything mm-hmm. is just like craziness. And we're just we're like, you know, we can't believe how little things blow up, and we're joking and laughing, and the girls. Were, I was like, oh yeah, now everyone's like makes a big deal because Michelle said she's bisexual, and who gives a shit, and you know, and that Lydia says she's bisexual, and who gives a shit, and whatever. I'm like, oh, you girls should kiss, and I'll take a picture of it. And they're like, okay, and so they're like, they just kissed. It was like yeah, a it was- fun kiss. The two girls would have at a bar, just 
goofing around. It wasn't like they were making out. Or it going really didn't out. even strike me as a gay kiss. Mm-hmm. I mean, to it be wasn't. honest, it really, and it wasn't like a big thing because I, I got the impression she'd be fun to party with. Let's put it that way. Right. You know, and that's why it's like when I saw <laughs> totally, the pic- when totally I saw fun the, to party with. When I saw the picture, it really I couldn't even believe that it became a thing. Well, I so I shot the photo, and it's not even that great of a photo. It's kind of dark, and then. Um, I go, I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to tweet it. And they're like, we don't care. Both of them. We don't care. We know what you, whatever. It's like, are you sure? Cause I'm really going to tweet it. And so I tweeted it out. And then, and then, and I also took a picture of Paula Abdul. I was right at the DJ booth and Paula Abdul came out. It was her friend's birthday who works there. And so she just came in and basically said, said happy birthday. And she never left the DJ booth except, you know, they just wished her, mm-hmm. rushed her in and out. And so she was up there with Shishi LaRue, and I took I took that picture and tweeted that out too. That ended up on TMZ. So both the photos ended up on TMZ. So apparently, did they, they pay you for them? No, bastards. No, it was it was totally just. Is that like once you tweeted, it's public domain? Is that how that works? Yes, yes, actually, <laughs> pretty much. That's exactly what what I was told. That once you put a photo on TwitPic, that anybody can use it for anything, anywhere. And Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, so that was the story I got. So TMZ took those pictures and they put them both up, and and um, I got a lot of grief about it. You know, people um, even but I bet they assumed that you sold it. See? Yeah. Sold well, it wasn't even that that they assumed that I sold it. It was just, you know, like you're they thought it was like malicious. Something. Like yeah, they thought that I was like sneaking some picture of them to like tweet it out. Oh, and look what I found. Stephen at the bar, I'm hiding behind her, yeah. taking pictures of Lydia and Michelle. Like, that's no. right. like I'm like some <laughs> pap who's trying to make money or something off it. I didn't get paid nothing. It was totally just us having fun and joking around and I took that picture and that's what happened. That's funny. Now do you um did you see Russell in LA or did you ever meet other no. than the party or anything like that? No, yeah. you know, I met him at the party. He was really nice. He's again a guy that when I watched the show liked him then didn't like him. Liked him, then didn't like him. After I met him, fun guy. A nice guy. So many people are like that. April, from... Okay. On the season, oh my God. Right. Certainly. And, again, once I, when I met her, really nice. And actually, Libra was a total sweetheart. Absolutely. She was a just... You know, everything so, that, you know, we were really, me and Brian and Angie, well, I guess more me and Brian, we were pretty brutal to everybody <laughs> while they were still in the house and when we were out. And, you know, we said a lot of horrible things because your feelings, everything's raw. Mm-hmm. Your feelings are hurt. You know, there's a lot going on. And so mm-hmm. you say a lot of nasty things. And then you see these people at like Vegas parties or whatever. And right. they're not, we're not all under that, under that microscope. And, you know, speaking of, the gay thing on Big Brother. I'm curious as to your opinion on this. Season 9, which was the couple seat where they mm-hmm. did the thing, and they had, and I feel bad because I can't even remember the names, but they had the two gay guys on there. Yeah. And, and then the one left. guy left. Yeah. Um, I heard, you know, like through the rumor mill that he didn't have to leave, that the producers basically politely asked him to leave because they got so much flack from viewers, the, the Christian right, and all that, of having... A gay couple. I mean, and I worry can tell you. about what if they actually got along. What Dustin? Yeah, you know, what they were gonna do? You know, like it on the show. Dustin. Like Dustin it, was season eight. Was Dustin season eight? Dustin and Joe were season eight. Oh, Dustin was. You're right. Oh, who the hell was season it? nine was. You know, I mean, you you learn to not always believe what, even if they're your friends, and it's after the show's over. Right. There's so many things they have to sign and that they honestly can't ever tell you the truth. So you never really know if production is lying to you or not. But the story I got from some friends of production was that he did have to leave. It wasn't, nobody asked him to leave. Okay, so there really was some kind of issue. There was a family family issue and they wouldn't give me any other details than that. They just said it was a real family issue and he had to leave. Josh Josh was the guy that was on the show, that stayed on the show. And they paired him back up. Joshua, who was, yes. Okay. Liz in Dallas. All right. First, I just don't remember the other guy's name. Yeah. Well, he left right away. So, so much for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I definitely heard that it was. Oh, um, okay. Paul from Minnesota. Boy, he's just like the wealth of knowledge. Says he had a cousin who was killed in a college shooting. Mm. Oh, that would suck. I think someone knows more. Yeah. They said it was. They and yeah. Someone else said production that said it was okay. a horrible family. So that would sound about well, right. That was-